We're done building the head for the Lego character. Um, the next thing that we're going to be working on is going to be the body. Uh, we're going to keep it pretty simple as we kind of build this out. Um, I'm going to use, um, we're going to kind of revert back. So the last time, if you remember, we did use a cylinder to create the head. I um, also kind of forgot to label it. So I'm going to put on here, Lego head. Yeah, so that I make sure that I'm labeling that out nicely. Um, but for the body, uh, we're going to start off with a cube. Yeah, um, so we're going to create polygon primitives. We'll go to the box next to cube. As far as the settings go, I'm going to reset these uh, just so everybody has kind of the same defaults. Uh, so I have the same defaults as you folks. Um, for width divisions, I'm going to keep it pretty light. I'm going to put this at 2. Okay, um, for the height divisions, um, I'm just going to kind of keep it at uh, about 3. And then for the depth divisions, I'm just going to do a nice clean 2. Yeah, so again, uh, 2, 3, 2, and then kind of drop that off. Yeah, so there's our eventual body. Um, I'm going to kind of place this somewhat centralized and then um, use the scale tool. Um, and as a, as a guide, I'm going to kind of go from here to about here. Yeah, so that's going to be about my um, height. Yeah, so I'm going to kind of bring that out. Um, I will also scale left to right, yeah, so kind of catch um, these areas right over here. Um, also, to make sure that I'm matching this up okay, um, I do have to expand all of these. So I'm going to right-click, go into vertex mode, um, kind of select these um, three rows of vertices here, scale that out, and I'm just trying to get right on the corners right over here. Okay, and then I'm going to get rid of this edge over here. So I'm just going to click drag, get this area, drag that out. Okay, and then I'm going to get the bottom one again one more time. Kind of just use that to kind of scale that out. Yeah, so that should match up pretty well. Um, one thing that looks a little bit weird probably to you folks is going to be this top area over here, um, especially because it has that little rounded look. So um, I'm actually going to uh, bring this piece down just a little bit. And um, yeah, we're gonna add in that curve, yeah, right at the end, yeah. So um, just to make sure that this matches up, again, I'll scale uh, left to right and kind of bring that outwards to this area. So again, super, super simple um, from the front view. I'm gonna do the same thing and check on the side view on this. So I'll take a look at that. Uh, one thing I'm noticing right off the bat is that it is definitely too thin. So again, I'm back in object mode. I'm just going to kind of scale this up and match it up as best as I can. Looks like I'm going to have to pop it just a little bit forward. Um, we did have to do something very similar to this for the um, for the Lego man head. Yeah. Okay, now we do have this top area that um, I didn't really account for. So um, jumping back into my uh, my perspective view, um, I'm then going to get my faces at the top. Yeah, so one, two, three, and four. He's holding on the shift key. Um, and then using the front view, um, front guide, I'm going to extrude that up, kind of bring it up a little bit. Okay, and then um, just use this to kind of scale inwards. Yeah, so um, I know it's not matching up exactly. Yeah, but um, well, this will probably kind of work for what we're going for. Um, I'm also going to check in my. Um, in my side view, and it looks like this, I'm also gonna have to kinda bring that in a little bit, just as kinda matching up with the, um, the guidelines for the body. All right, now, uh, should look pretty uh, straightforward, pretty decent right here. Um, remember, we are eventually um, going to keep it from looking as blocky as it originally looks over here. So um, if I do go into three mode, yeah, um, we can kinda take a look at what it would look like if we were to um, smooth it currently. Um, definitely not the best look over here. Uh, we definitely are going to need some holding edges. So I'm going to um, start dropping those off. Yeah, so we for sure are going to need it on the sides over here. So I'm going to go into Mesh Tool, Insert Edge Loop. And I'm going to drop off a nice little edge loop that kind of um, tightens up the corners on the Lego's left side. So Lego character's left side. Um, when I then go into my Object Mode, yeah, and then press 3. Um, which you should then notice is okay. That side is kind of has a cool um, effect right over here. Now, definitely still too rounded um, near the bottom, yeah, and then uh, debatable, but probably we want to kind of um, strengthen the side as well, yeah. So, I'm gonna drop off two more edge loops um, on the left and right, yeah. So, uh, sorry, for on the front and back, 
So you're gonna go over here and go drop a nice little edge loop right over there. Also do the same thing towards the back. Yeah, so again, these edge loops are not um, super, super on top of this line, but they're really close, yeah. Okay, and then so when I go into three mode now, you have that nice little clean look, yeah, on the edges. Okay, and you'll see the contrast, yeah. This side is gonna look really Lego-ish, whereas if you look on the other side, it feels mm, a little bit more mushy, yeah. So, kind of got that going for us. Um, now, it should be pretty simple. Um, we just inserted these edge loops on these two sides. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. So, again, um, front side, back side, yeah, we're gonna have an edge loop that kind of holds that a little bit better. Um, we're also going to drop off an edge loop right at the bottom over here. Yeah, so that'll keep um, that anchored a little bit. Again, not touching, but getting pretty close. Um, and then we'll kind of see how this looks. Yeah, so I'm then going to, again, Q, yeah, to get into selection tool, right click, go into object mode, and then press three. Okay, and then at this point, we should have something that looks pretty good as far as the, um, as far as the body goes, yeah. Now, of course, we should be looking at it in this view as well, so I'm gonna take a look on here. Um, that's pretty much matching up what I'm looking for. I can kind of check the sides as well. Yeah, shape looks pretty good. Um, yeah, that will definitely that will definitely work for what we're kind of going for. Yeah. So again, uh, we just finished the um, the Lego body. I did not again label this, so I'm going to do that right now. Okay, and that'll set us up for that portion.